back in the day on the Evolution Show. See, the children of living things are always different from their parents, but not completely different. I mean, they're related. Somebody from public broadcasting called the office and said, now be sure to say it's only a theory, evolution. I said, no, I'm not gonna say it's only a theory. Like, uh, that fight I really will fight. If you have this idea that the Earth is only 6,000 years old, you are denying, if you will, everything that you can touch and see. This was a conscious decision. I'm going to influence kids. I'm going to influence young people. From your perspective, all life is related? Certainly. Even yes, plants? We're related to plants? It's one of the fundamental discoveries in all of life okay, science. So we're related to plants? Yes. So we're related to a banana? Yes. Okay. I just want What makes you think we're not related to bananas? From the Emmy award-winning series, Bill Nye the Science Guy, focusing on evolution. That is the focus in undeniable evolution and the science of creation. Let me ask you a question. Does the fact that fewer people are believing in evolution suggest that maybe we aren't evolving? Oh. Uh, See, I that's think, why Sam I think the pendulum will swing. 40%, 45% of the American people believe literally in Adam and Eve believe literally that the world is only 6,000 years old. I mean, that's a shocking figure, and you can't duck out of it. How many of you believe in God? Okay, a forest of hands. So Richard Dawkins, these people are deluded. All, every single one of them. Well, I fear that's right, yes. I think it was my father who first introduced me to uh, to Darwinian evolution. I was immensely moved by it, and it did start a roller coaster in a way, and then I started to become uh, really quite anti religious after that. I went through a sort of middle ground of what you might call deism. I think I gave up Christianity before I finally gave up the idea of a, a sort of creative designer of some kind. Darwin made it possible to be an intellectually fulfilled atheist. Before that, you could be an atheist, Hume was, for example, but it was quite difficult because you had no good explanation for why uh, living things look so well designed.